welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a scrapbook flip through. If you guys are new to my channel, then I do a scrapbook with me series here on my channel and I have it all in the playlist that I'll link in the description below. This is my second series now, so this is my second flip through. If you guys want to see my previous flip through and the previous parts of my scrapbook or even the parts of this scrapbook in particular, then again, check out my playlist. Getting right on into the scrapbook, the first page here, I use Polaroid photos to kind of decorate the page. I feel like you don't always necessarily need to have backdrops, you don't need to have washi tape just to make a page feel complete. Complete. In the top left, I have a bit of memorabilia. I think it's so important no matter what you're doing, where you're going, even if it's a napkin, just pick up whatever you can find of wherever you've been. And I feel like it's just a really nice touch to add. With these two pages, I use some washi tape down the center on the far left, just confetti, because I feel like it really suits the tone of it being a party. I also use some more mature washi tape, the white with the greens on, because I think it suited the color and like the vibe of the cards with the flowers and stuff, which again, filled in the space. And also it's just like a nice little memory to have. And then on the following page, again, I have more Polaroids and to fill in these white spaces, I did use some more washi tape. And then on this side, I actually use the backdrop to write on. I feel like if you write directly onto the white paper, it's not as interesting to look at as using a background. And I use this red because of the red that was in my top and also my friend's top and also just in the background and just adding like some washi tape because it was like nighttime, it was late night and also like the blue in here and here. It just makes it more interesting to look at. I really like this page because like the blockiness of it and in Minecraft it's very blocky as you guys would know especially from the photos too you can see if you guys have never played Minecraft before so I really like the idea of these photos being like very blocky and then the filling in with the black it kind of looks like brickwork which I really like and then on the right I have like a more girly pinky vibe so I have the backdrop for the photos which again just elevates the photos a bit more and also the colors of the washi tape and like the strips it's all just very fun and very colorful so using these stars again I think work well because incorporated entire the pink and the purple on the far left i do wish i could do more with the page i do feel like it does need something else but i couldn't find any washi tape that suited the photos and i don't have any halloween themed ones which i do need so i just use the orange and yellow from the photos which again works really well and on the right i use black and red for mine and my boyfriend's anniversary i use this red heart and basically in Taylor Swift merch, she put like these little red heart confetti pieces and also some yellow and pink ones. And I feel like the red works the best because I just associate red with like, you know, love, Valentine. So I think that worked best in this scenario. And I also made a mistake on the original heart I wrote the date on. So I basically just ripped it up and turned it into little confetti, which again, filled the space, recycled the paper. And also it kind of looks like little red rose petals, which again, I think is a really nice like romantic touch. On this page, it was my friend's birthday, but we only got one one photo from that night so I wanted to show that these were like different days so I just had a little pink caption to work with the colors in the photo and I also kept like the little band that we wore to go to like the little farm and I also had like a t I can't even remember where this is from but basically we had to like dig and like find a tooth and then you got a prize or something so I just kept that as a memory which has made it a bit thicker and a bit chunkier because it obviously like comes out of the page, but I do like that touch too. I like to have things that you actually wore on the day because photos can be printed off at any time. But these things are in the moment, like I wore this then. And I think that's really cool to look back on, especially in like 10 years time or something more. I actually found a Charles sticker book and I basically just used the farmyard animals to put in the spaces, which again, work well conveniently and the little butterflies. And then in these little washi tapes, there are tickets, which again, work with like the wristband in the previous page. And then here, as I mentioned earlier, I used the pink and the yellow love heart that was in the taylor swift merch and i feel like that worked a lot better than using red so on the right we're moving more into like the winter time and me and my friend have fake snow in our hair and stuff so i do think the snowflakes work the best i don't even know how well you can see them which is a shame but these are white and gray snowflakes and this was in taylor swift's christmas merch so again i reused that and it just shows like you know we're entering the christmas holidays which is really nice then i used the snowflakes again to decorate the backgrounds of these two pages and i feel like i started to clock on that you couldn't see it that well so i used black as a backdrop or i do like the chaos of having snowflakes spread everywhere this does look a bit more structured but again i do really like the contrast of the black then entering 2020 who would have known i didn't want to use blocks of sheets of paper because i didn't have that much to write but i did want to caption each of these photos so i did like a little tag coming out of each photo which again i do think filled the space and i do like it even though it's very very simple on the right i actually really really like this page and again it's really simple but it was basically my boyfriend's 18th birthday meal out and it was also valentine's like a few days afterwards and I wanted to just use this one photo from Valentine's because we didn't take that many. So I had it in a Polaroid to cut out a lot of negative space. And then I also used burgundy strips because it went with the hat and it also went with his jumper. And I added like these little black hearts just to show like Valentine's vibe, but also like his birthday. I do really like the strips. It almost looks like some ribbon. 
these are my favorite pages i don't know why i just find them so exciting my birthday pages for my 18th i basically used silver paper for my birthday party i feel like it went really really well it just made it more exciting than like specific colors and it showed that it was different from the rest of the pages and i also had some happy birthday stickers that i found in the range and i love this one because it's like a strip of happy birthday and it actually looks like happy birthday string that i have in the background for the photos and i also cut out the 1a out of some silver paper and i was really proud of that because i actually got the 1a number balloons in silver too so that tied in really nicely as well and also it's like a statement as soon as i go to this page i know it's my 18th birthday and i like that i like to have almost a title page just some sort of nod to what this page is about i filled it again with stickers and these little blocks and i like to have them opposing so i had the block down here but the top there and the writing here and the writing there and the washi tape on these two but the washi tape on those two here again the stickers were an absolutely like brilliant filler and it meant i had so much less cutting to do and i absolutely hate <laughs> cutting the paper all the time so i had like these little things as well that i thought would be good to come out of each side and then finally again i used the last of my silver stickers and i also used some more silver strip here i actually have some photos from that night that are just really funny that i don't think i want to put on youtube but i do want to add that having envelopes is a really good idea to hide certain photos i know that you're not necessarily going to put your scrapbook on youtube but you might want to just have them tucked away i don't know why but i just think it's a nice little touch to just have them tucked away and i am glad i did that i feel like even if i hadn't have you know done this for youtube i definitely would have wanted to just have these photos tucked away just because they're more funny and they don't like suit the rest of the photos if that makes sense entering my actual birthday this was such a good day like it just makes my heart happy just seeing it so first things first i rotated between silver and gold paper depending on the colors and because this is all kind of like brownie and like wooden vibes i feel like the gold did go a lot better than this which is a lot brighter obviously you've got the 1-8 there so i do like having the silver on this side i also had white writing on my gold paper again i did like the contrast of the white with the gold and it was also more discreet which i liked because i didn't want like the writing to look too intense here i've got gold again because the photos have like more of a brownie tone and then these ones are a lot brighter i also used different happy birthday stickers because they were like more bronzy which again worked really well then the final two pages of my birthday this was at the end of the day and again the silver worked better and the gold worked better here i also use a little bella italia receipt that i had for my actual birthday meal it's just so nice having like actual materialistic things taken from that day and i feel like it's so cool to be like my 18 year old self touched that and now i'm turning 20. <laughs> these days were very simple so i just kind of had the borders to fill in the space i just like the colors of the purple on this side and the pink on that side just very girly and very cutesy and then entering you know almost lockdown finding out about covid i feel like this photo on its own definitely needed to be a statement and it was when all of the shelves were empty my mum just sent me this photo and little did we know it would trigger the end of school school shutting down early so i did like another little title page of last day of school and i wanted to just make it more exciting more bold because the day itself was like very rushed very sad very like dull so i did like little confetti to be like woohoo last day and obviously these colors work well with the photos that's in this washi tape and then obviously having the actual like caption of last day in this sparkly letter writing i think worked nicely and it also brought the page to life so much more and then again i got the silver and the gold because it just felt like a significant day and then the xoxo is very cute it was me and my boyfriend hugging goodbye in this photo for these two pages i tried to make it more colorful with the rainbow washi tape and also all of the hearts were like just so colorful it makes this page so much happier and so much nicer to look at and then on this side i tried to color coordinate like the boxes with the washi tape so this has purple strips in so that's where there's purple darker green so the darker green paper and like a more pastel light green to suit the more pastel light washi tape and then on the left the last photo so i just said bye ccs i have my timetable here so it's kind of going to be cute to look back on just to see my timetable and i always have like a little note that my boyfriend left me which wasn't on the actual last day but i just found it so i thought it was like a cute little like homage to like what school was like because he'd like send me little notes if he had to leave for the bus if i was like running behind or something because i'd get picked up <laughs> so he had to get to the bus on time and then on this side i really like this page too because i went in my boyfriend's car for the first time the colors again suiting the colors of the photos with the red car got the blue roof and then the blue like starry night because we were driving around late at night 
and yeah just all about color coordinating everything really and then we're entering lockdown so my first youtube you know baking and stuff i feel like it was better just to put like a collage together and put them in a polaroid because not that much happened and i didn't really want to have too many pages on it because you don't want like loads of six by fours of just food on one page so i feel like it looks a lot neater and a lot more compact just having them all squashed into a polaroid and then on the right i didn't really have a page dedicated to my first car so during lockdown i did lots of cleaning and i cleaned my car a lot so i wanted to have a page for my car here i have a receipt of me filling up my car for the first time and here i have a receipt of me putting my car through a car wash so very exciting things and then again these two pages are during lockdown so me and my friends would facetime a lot and we also started our podcast we also had like group facetime calls i had like a by the end of quarantine list which is really nice to look back on it says here like i wanted to hit 50 subscribers by the end of quarantine which is so cool now knowing that i'm like i think i'm at 900 as i'm filming this and then over here me and my boyfriend had our first social distance picnic when we were allowed to here you have like the greens and the pinks working well me and my friends social distancing my boyfriend coming to mind for the first time after lockdown and then here i have my bedroom because i did like a before and after bedroom makeover during lockdown too so this is the before and this is the after and again using these envelopes inside the envelopes i have more photos just from different angles so i have like the photo of my room from this perspective and then more photos of my desk close up and again in my before just so i could not have four pages dedicated to my room it was just nice to have like you know before after and if i want to see any more photos of things from different angles then i can just pull up these envelopes here i like cut out little triangles and stuff just to make it more interesting than like these little rectangles and again thinking about the colors of the photos that work well like the orange from the chinese the orange in the top left because it was very like brownie for some reason and like the green from obviously his jacket and the grass having little cute hearts as well in the corners just makes the page more exciting it just adds like a little touch to it here i have little confetti strips from my 19th birthday present and it just meant that i could use it as a backdrop because this was the day that i opened my a-level results and then the next few pages are literally just that night of us celebrating our results and again the black strips work really well with the black strips that's actually on the photos and just the darkness of it me and my friend went to ikea and i literally didn't know how to fill the space so i thought i'd put like trip trip i was going to do like ikea trip but i didn't have enough letters to spell ikea so i just did trip trip which works just as well and then on this side i had photos of me and my boyfriend doing face masks and stuff and because it basically took up the whole page just to make it a bit more exciting i did like these little love heart washi tapes just to circle around the page and again i used the polaroid as well because i didn't need like a whole six by four of the snacks i left for him as a surprise on the bed here we're having our date night and the blue from my top and his trousers and stuff and like the pink in the top left photo i really like the opposing blue with pink hearts and the pink with blue hearts i think it all ties in together really nicely and again it's just so cute like if you want to make the page cute just add love hearts no matter what this page just makes me very happy and it's very colorful that continues on and then i have my friends going away party so i left my boyfriend surprise leaving presents so those are some photos and the polaroid there and i have like a little receipt from one of the presents that i got him and again it's just like something material isn't just something more interesting to look at other than just photos and then the next few pages are basically just photos with borders that like color coordinate with the photos and i basically did this in my previous scrapbooking part so i'll tag that up above basically just not to go into too much detail the colors basically work with the colors within the photos like here for example my friend has green yellow and red all on her sleeve so i have green yellow and red as the background i really like this because they kind of look like bricks again like the minecraft one because the backgrounds are bricks and they like all kind of overlap into each other i like the fillers of the brown because again it just looks like bricks being combined together i apologize if this is triggering but i wanted this photo to overlap that photo so that's why it's not like a straight line but because all the photos took up the page i just didn't know how to fill it so again i use washi tape just to make it more exciting and here these are just some polaroids of me i don't really like having photos of myself but i think it's important that when i look back on it i can see what i used to look like rather than just photos of me and my friends it's nice to just see photos of myself
scrapbook ends with this photo of me and my boyfriend as I said goodbye to him as he went to university. And I really like this because it's just like, you know, moving on to new things. You've got the autumn leaves, you've got the gold. I just find it is very like autumnal, like starting afresh, starting a new year, a new journey. And it ends on my boyfriend literally the day he leaves for university. So the next scrapbook is going to start with him at university, my year off, moving on to me starting university as well, late 2021. So I'm so excited to start the scrapbook and just see how the pages go and do another flip through with you guys. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in my next one. Make sure you click the scrapbooking playlist in the description below if you do want to see my scrapbooking part i'll see you guys all in my next video goodbye